How's it going guys? JT Judgment here and welcome to another Legend Review in Ultimate Team. Today guys, we're going to be looking at the French centre-back Marcel Desailly. Now I used this guy a couple of months back in my full Legend squad builder. Ever since Legends were released, you know, and this guy was put up onto the market and I could see his actual stats. This is a guy that I wanted to pick up as soon as I could be able to afford him basically because... His card face stats for a centre-back are absolutely insane. His in-game stats are very good as well and his work rates are perfect for a centre-back. And this guy, I could just see him being one of the best centre-backs in the game. You know, and he is one of the best centre-backs in the game. Now, let me go through some of his in-game stats just to give you a sort of preview of what they are. 90 head in accuracy, 94 marking, 85 slide in tackle and 91 slide in tackle. Or oh, stand in tackle, sorry, I should say. Are the ones you're going to be looking at his skill attributes his physical attributes are very good as well 93 strength is one of the most important ones 88 reactions 84 jumping 96 reactions and 92 interceptions are the stats you're going to be looking at in his mental attributes now when it comes to his card fist stats 88 on both defending and heading and to top it off he's got 82 pace those stats for a center back are absolutely freaking insane he's also got perfect work rates for a center back low attacking high defensive like I just said with his in-game stats, he's got very, very, very good strength and aggression stats. 93 strength and 96 aggression stats. So that means, guys, he's going to have the work rates to be in position all the time. And he's going to have the amazing strength and aggression to muscle off people with ease basically and he's also got the pace to catch up to pretty much everyone now 82 pace on the card i've got to agree with that stat he actually feels slightly quicker than that you will see from some of the clips in this video this guy catches up to obabo and obamiang he catches up to players with 90 pace he catches up he, i don't think there was anyone that i come up against that he couldn't catch basically and we're talking people with more than 90 pace you know and it was just crazy how easily this boy caught up with them how easily he shrugged them off the ball and how easily he took the ball back into my team's possession absolutely fantastic one of the best defenders in the whole of ultimate team guys let's go through some of his positives and negatives he's got a lot of pluses guys very very strong muscles people off the ball very very easily he's got amazing tackling abilities running up to people and Doing a standing tackle is so easy with this guy. Uh, sliding tackling is very, very, very impressive with him as well. He is very good in the air. He is, he's got 88 heading on the card, I've got to agree with that stat. Now something to, sort of a downside to that plus, is that he is only 6 foot. And a lot of people like their defenders to be, you know, 6 foot 2, 6 foot 3 tall. So they, they are easier to dominate in the air. Um, me personally, I don't mind my defenders, my centre-backs being 6 foot tall. Um, because... I don't know, it's just how I play, and I like I, I just don't mind them being that tall. You know, it's not exactly short, but it's not exactly very tall either. So a lot of people that like their centre-backs to be taller than six foot might not like him. But if you like me and it doesn't bother you, then obviously you won't count it as a weakness. Uh, he's got perfect work risk for a centre-back in high defensive and low attacking, meaning he is always there, ready to defend, and he is always in the position that you need and want him to be um he's got very 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 good passing 65 passing on the card i gotta disagree with and say he feels a lot better than that you know taking the ball from an attacker and then just whipping it up to my midfield is so freaking easy with this guy and he's got amazing pace for a center back like i've already explained Guys, his weaknesses, poor dribbling and ball control and terrible shooting. Now, I know and I understand a lot of you guys are probably saying, JT, shooting and dribbling and ball control is really, really not that important for a centre-back. I understand where you're coming from, guys, but seeing that this is a player review, I want to get absolutely everything in the video and give my opinions on everything about the player. Dribbling and ball control and shooting is absolutely terrible. Don't get me wrong, you're never going to be in the position to take a shot with him. Um, but for me, I did try and it is absolutely terrible. Dribbling and ball control was... It did cause a couple of problems for me, but it wasn't too bad, guys. So I've given him a final score of 9.9 .9 out of 10. The reason why I haven't given him a full 10 out of 10 is because he can be... He, he is slightly short for a centre-back, 6 foot. Well, I guess it's not exactly short, but it's not as tall um, as a lot of people would like their center backs to be you know if this guy was six foot two six foot three i'd give him a, a full 10 out of 10 because he would dominate in the air easier but 
he just doesn't win as much as the stuff that I would like him to in the air, guys, basically is what I'm trying to say. One of the best defenders in the game, definitely in the top three uh, of my list anyway, in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've used him. Let me know what you thought of him. I'm not expecting anybody to say he's bad, basically, because for me, if this guy performed this well for me, I can't imagine him performing bad for anyone else, you know? That's how well he performed for me, guys. So that's going to wrap up my final thoughts and review of the legend Desai, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like is always greatly appreciated, and hit the subscribe button today for more legend reviews to come in the future. And as always from me, guys, please take care, and I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.